Hello. Uh, this is a video on how to play Egyptian Rat Screw. Um, and so Egyptian Rat Screw is a version of a war card game uh, where the objective is to obtain all the cards um, in the game. Um, and so you'll sort of see how to play. It's very simple. Um, it's actually it's actually uh, very very simple. Um, and so what you'll need are two or more players, um, as well as a 52 card deck. Uh, keep in mind that there's no limit on the number of players you want. Um, since the objective is to obtain all the cards in the game, even if you have a bunch of players, um, it's not going to hinder it because there's no minimum uh, cards, I guess minimum number of cards that uh, all the players need to have. Um, and so uh, what we'll actually do here is um, We'll actually just uh, talk about uh, the game a bit more, and so um, you'll just need a standard 52 card deck, um, and you're gonna deal all the cards to each player, uh, one card at a time. Um, and so that this was already done here uh, automatically, uh, but if you're playing in real life, uh, you will have to deal one card to each player at a time. Um, note that when doing this, um, if you have an odd number of players or uh, depending on your number of players, uh, some players may have uh, more cards than others, and honestly, that's fine. In fact, uh, it's just a little advantage slash disadvantage uh, that you have to play with. Um, it's just the nature of the game. Um, and so the cards aren't looked at, and every player has his cards face down. And so no player can actually look at his cards. And so the objective of the game is to... And so what I mean by that is each player has their cards face down. So I have my cards face down. Um, player 3 has his cards face down. Uh, right? Um, uh, player 2 has his cards uh, face down. And then player 4 has his cards face down. Um, and so uh, the objective of the game is to be the player to win all the cards. And so the player left of the dealer is the uh, first to play. And so the player flips the top card of their card stack into the middle. Um, in this case, um, it was electronic, and so one player was just randomly assigned uh, the first play. Uh, but if you're playing in real life, the player left to the dealer is the first to play. Uh, the player flips the top card of their card stack into the middle. Um, and so this is how um, it's essentially played. And so if the top card uh, that you flip up into the middle is a number then just play just continues normally so from 2 to 10 Any number between including 2 and 10 uh, play continues normally now if the card flipped up is an ace So the card flipped up and placed into the middle is an ace or a face card. So a jack queen king or ace um, the player next uh, The next player also has to play a face card or an ace and so, depending on the card played, the next player gets a number of chances to play a face card or an ace. And so, if the player before you plays an ace, you have four chances to play an, a face card or an ace. If the player before you plays a king, you have three chances to play a face card or an ace. Um, if the player before you plays a queen, uh, you have two chances to play a face card or an ace. And if the player before you plays a jack, you have one chance to play a face card or an ace. Um, and so if a face card or ace is played, the next player has to play a face card or ace in the allotted chances. And so since an ace was played, I have four chances to play an ace card or a face card or an ace. And so what I'm going to do here um, is I'm actually going to... So I played an eight. That's not good enough. Played a two. I want to play a face card or an ace, and so I played a face card. Okay, what, what, what? Okay, let's just talk about uh, what happened there. Okay, let's just talk about what happened there. A lot just happened there. Um, and so if a face card or ace is played, the next player has to play a face card or ace in the allotted chances. Um, if a face card or ace is played in the allotted chances, um. Then the next player also has to play a face card or ace in the allotted chances. And so notice how uh, player 4 played an ace there. And then I played an ace, right? And so let's say player 4 played an ace. I then have 4 chances to play a face card or an ace. 
let's say I play Jack apt on my third try. That means player 3 has one more try to play a face card or an ace, right? Because I played a Jack, I played a face card, and so player 3 has one more chance to play a face card or an ace. Similarly, if player 4 played an ace, and then I played an ace on my first try, well, we go based off of the first ace played. So the first ace played gave us four chances. I played an ace on my first try. That I took up one of the four chances given. There are three chances left for the next player to play a face card or an ace. And so that's how it really uh, works. Uh, and so... Uh, note that during gameplay, anytime the following card combinations are played into the middle, uh, the pile can be slapped, and the cards in the middle go to the first player to slap them. Also, um, in the odd chance uh, that no face card or ace is played, um, in the chances given uh, when when that uh, scenario arises, the middle pile is taken by the last player to play a face card or an ace. And so notice how player 4 played an ace a couple while back, uh, like a bit back, a bit before. Um, if I did not play an ace or a face card in the 4 chances given, uh, then player 4 would get the entire middle pile. Um, and, and and they would add the cards to the bottom of their stack. And so during gameplay, um, anytime the following card combinations are played into the middle, uh, the pile can be slapped, and the cards in the middle go to the first player to slap them. And so doubles are matching cards that are played back to back. Um, and then as well as sandwiches. And so... If you have matching cards played back to back, so notice how there is there is a six here. If I play a or if any other player plays a six on top of this, um, they get to uh then any once a six is played on top of this, that is a matching card, and thus the middle deck can be slapped, and the cards in the middle can be um, and the first player to slap uh the middle deck gets the uh, cards in the middle. Similarly, uh, if there is a sandwich, and that means uh, matching cards are played, and there is only one card in between them. So, for example, if you have a 6 right here, and then a 7, and then a 6, or a 6, a uh, 2, and then a 6, well, that's, that is a sandwich. The 6 and the 6 are matching cards with only one card in between them, forming a sandwich. And so you can slap when there are doubles. Two matching cards are on top of each other, or when there is a there is a sandwich. Two matching cards are separated by only one card. In both instances, uh, the first player to slap the middle deck um, uh, gets the entire gets all the cards in the middle deck. And remember, the objective is to have all the cards in the game. Um, in the odd event that uh, all players miss a chance to slap, then play just continues, right? Because all players miss the chance to slap, and so the game is pretty simple and. Um, I'm just going to, um, I guess, talk about um, how to play. And so I'll just uh, show you how to play, right? And we're just going to keep going. And so notice I have four chances to play face-up card. I did. And notice how all the players tried to slap that, right? Because that was a jack on a jack. That was a match. I have, four ch I have three chances. It didn't work. And so player four got all the cards in the middle. Notice when a king was played in the middle, I had three chances to play a face-up card or an ace. Um, since I couldn't, the player who previously played uh, got all the cards. So now I have two chances. I, th I couldn't do them, so the player before me got all the cards in the middle. Notice how there was matching cards, and I was lucky, I was fast to slap them, and so I'm able to uh, get all the cards in the middle. Since that player had four chances to get all the, uh, to play an ace or a face-up card, and they didn't, um, the last player who played the original ace obtains all the cards. In this case, it was me. There was a 5 and a 5 matching cards, and so I slapped the deck, taking the cards. And so I think you can just see this, guys. It's very easy. Very simple game. I have two chances to play a face-up card. I, uh, there were two fours on top of each other. I slapped it first, and so I obtained all the cards in the middle. So you can see this is quite an easy game. 
Note that the opportunity to slap was missed since another card was played, and so you just saw a good chance of uh, what happened there. All the players slapped the middle of the uh, deck, uh, but since another player was played, another card was played. Um, all the players missed their opportunity to uh, get the cards in the middle, and so play just continued. And so note that, uh, note what just happened there. I mistakenly slapped the middle deck. And so when you mistakenly slap the middle deck, um, you actually lose a card. And so you place a card uh, in the middle, um, place an extra card um, on the bottom of the uh, middle deck. And so I mistakenly slapped the middle deck, and so I lost a card, and I had to place a card in the middle deck. And remember, you don't want to lose your cards. And so, now we're just going to keep going here. It's quite a simple game. And so, notice how I was the last player to play a face-up card, right? And so when a face-up card is played, if a next face-up card is played, that takes precedence, right? And so, let's say, let's say player four plays an ace. I then have four tries to play a face-up card or a ace. I play a jack on my first try. Well then, the jack is the hot top card in the pile, and so then the next player has one try to play a face-up card. Or let's say player four played an ace. I had four tries to play a face-up card or an ace. I played a queen on my first try. Well, a queen gives you two tries, and so then player three would have two tries to play a queen. So it carries on based off of recency there. I have two tries. Now that player has two tries. And notice how all the players missed the uh um all the players missed the match in the middle and so play just continues. Notice how there was a match in the middle. I was the first player and so I obtained all the cards. And so, let's just talk about something here. Uh, notice that this player doesn't have any cards right here. Um, that doesn't mean that uh, player 4 is eliminated from the game. Uh, player 4 still has an opportunity to get back into the game um, if they slap the uh, slap the deck. right? Because if you slap the deck, you, you can obtain cards. Um, and so when a player is out of cards, uh, he or she is not out of the game. Uh, the player is still able to slap the pile to win cards. And so... The play, if a play, if a player mistakenly right, so if a player has no cards and then they mistakenly slap the pile, um, with no cards, well then normally if you mistakenly slap the pile, you have to give a card to the bottom of the pile. Since the player has no cards, he is then he or she is then out of the game, and so. So now this player has three tries. Now I have four tries, right? Because the ace was recent. It's recency. Now this player has two tries. So since they couldn't get it, I obtain all the cards. This player has four tries. I have one try. Couldn't do it. That player obtains the cards. I have one try now. I couldn't do it. He obtains all the cards. That was a sandwich, right? Right there. And so this player's back in the game. He can now start spitting down cards.
Notice how I was the first to slap the middle deck, and so I obtained all the cards. Now this player has four chances. Now I have three chances. That was a sandwich, and so that player obtained all the cards. And so this can go on for quite a long time, right? Because if one player slaps it, they're instantly like back in the game. And so I hope you sort of really see how to play Egyptian Rad Screw. Uh, let's just uh, sum up the rules really quick here. Uh, you are still supposed to play in a circle. Um, here is just playing sort of in a strange uh, order. Um, and so let's just sum up the rules here. And so uh, the objective is to be the player to win all of the cards. Um, the player left of the dealer is the first to play. I guess um, in this case it was just randomly determined. Um, the player flips the top, so every player flips the top card of their stack into the middle. If the card is a numbered card, play continues clockwise. Um, if the card played is a face card or an ace, the next player has to play a face card or an ace as well. And depending on the card played, the next player gets a number of chances to play a face card or an ace. Um, if you if the card played is an ace, the next player has four chances to play a face card or an ace. If the card played is a king, the next player has four chances has three chances to play a face card or an ace. If the card played is a queen, uh, the next player has two chances to play a face card or an ace. If the card played is a jack, the next player has one chance to play a face card or an ace. Um, if a face card or an ace is played, the next player has to play a face card or an ace in the allotted chances. And if no face card or ace is played, the middle pile is taken by the last player to play a face card or an ace. Um, every time a face card or an ace is played, uh, the counter restarts depending on the next, the new face card or ace played. And so if an ace is played, right, and then the next player has four chances to play a face card or an ace and they play a jack, well then the player after them would only have one chance to play a face card or an ace. And it keeps continuing. Um, if the, no face card or ace is played, the middle pile is taken by the last player to play a face card or an ace. The cards are added to the bottom of the player's card stack. Uh, during gameplay, any time the following card combinations are played into the middle, the pile can be slapped, and the cards in the middle go to the first player to slap them. And so doubles are matching cards of the same rank played back to back. A uh, sandwich uh, is match a sandwich is matching cards uh, that are played with only one card in between them. For example, a four, an eight, and then a four, uh, like we have here in the image. If another four was played on top. Um, uh, you can also invent your own other combinations and agree upon them before the game is started if you would like to spice it up a bit. Um, if a card is played on top of a combination that could have been slapped, uh, the chance to slap the pile is missed. And so if all players miss it, right, and another card is played on top of a combination, um, the chance to slap the pile is missed and play continues. If a player mistakenly slaps the pile, the player must put a card on the bottom of the middle pile as a penalty. And when a player is out of cards, uh, they are not out of the game. The player is still able to slap the middle pile to win cards. If a player mistakenly slaps the middle pile with no cards, well then they have no card to give to the middle pile as a penalty, and then thus they are out of the game. Uh, that wraps up how to play Egyptian Rat Screw. Thank you for watching.